what is going on guys welcome back to day two another no money spend here as we do each and every friday new content on 2k today plenty to discuss as well it's been a busy week for the man like they released a whole bunch of stuff brand new spotlight sims yes more of a grind especially if you're an offline or a no money spend player like me with the offline grind basically since i uploaded on monday no money spent like a lot of stuff has gone down i haven't necessarily taken advantage of all of it yet today but i figured we have to go over it today we have to wait some empty we have to maybe make some empty you already know why, why don't we dive into it now as we can see as we go to the home page obviously there's new packs we're gonna look at that content here in a second goat magic johnson which is just wild uh in addition though final spotlight sim challenges for goat larry bird you already know you already know i'm gonna do that of course i'm behind i haven't completed it like a few people have already but we will talk about that uh later in the back half of this video we'll go over some of the cards and stuff so stay tuned for that but these showtime packs and boxes are here now i hate when they release deluxe packs and normal packs because i'm always like which ones do i open but these are loaded man richard lewis goat magic johnson c web shaquille o'neal and jimmy butler a ton of really good budget diamond pink diamond cards well i shouldn't say ton danny manning is ridiculous like if you're on a budget pick up a danny manning they also got a cheap lebron in here this sean bradley looks epic yeah and you can lock it all in for uh kareem abdul jabbar which is just like what do we doing here 2k now as mentioned when we go over here to the collection where are we here premium showtime uh, this kareem looks insane like he's going to be the best card in the game i think regardless 99 pretty much everything he's got hall of fame range apparently his animations are ridiculous so if you somehow are able to get him like good on you but this is just like dude this card is absolutely gonna wreck me. now looking individually at the cards uh keep in mind these are the first set of auctions as i'm recording this video like these are the very first cards that were pulled so these prices are not going to stay this high but i mean for a guy like richard lewis yeah five six hundred k it kind of makes sense because as you can see he's shooting guard eligible and he's six foot ten that alone makes this card extremely dirty obviously badges and attributes wise like is it even worth it to look anymore like we know we know these cards are stacked like it is what it is but six ten shooting guard yeah richard lewis is all that moving along we've got chris weber who's probably the most troll he he's the troll opal i mean he'll be fine if he does end up being cheap but a 610 power forward and i don't like his jumper this year so yeah i mean it is what it is he's not my cup of tea shaquille o'neal people are high if they're bidding him up to a million this card's not that great i mean he's 7 1 99 whatever but he's only got a 73 point shot and shaq's jumper even on the glitch one is really not very good so i mean this card will do crazy things he's got an 83 ball handle like he will move and play not like shaq should play but there are so many better center options in my opinion than this shaq like if you get him i would sell him immediately and the final opal jimmy butler this one's kind of the card being slept on because it's just like a normal card he's not glitched he can't play point guard but jimmy butler cards are just all around really good this year so basically what i'm saying is depending on where these prices settle this is a really good set like there's just some really good cards in here now as we move into the pink diamond tier this this danny manning bro I, I gotta check the price hold on we know danny manning's diamond is dirty he's got the lamarcus aldridge jumper which is like the same as base 11 like i consider those jumpers basically the same you know i love james worthy oh my word this dude is really selling for this cheap five thousand i'm picking him up i don't even i'm probably not even gonna use this danny manning but if i do like 39 hall of fame badges a sick jumper hall of fame range extender like I, hall of fame clamps what more do you need to see hall of fame intimidator for 5k this is where we're at right now in this game it's kind of crazy i'll say the one card that is slightly a letdown i i don't even know if you can say that pink diamond lebron he was selling for 20k earlier uh he's selling yeah right around 20k now 30 hall of fame badges which is way less than pink diamond danny manning which is interesting does he have hall of fame range he's got hall of fame intimidator he doesn't have hall of fame range so i mean that might make sense or hall of fame clamps wow this lebron card really isn't it 87 three point only an 82 ball handle too like i get that he's cheap but if you're gonna pick up one of these cards danny manning for a quarter of the price way better than this lebron and you know how i feel about lebron james people and of course the other card i would say for us budget ballers here that is very interesting would be a diamond sean bradley who's selling for wow <laughs> 2000 mt bro i'm asleep 2000 mt for a seven foot six center with an 83 point shot i mean he's not gonna move very well i imagine but 22 hall of fame badges if he had range extended he doesn't hall of fame intimidator rebound chaser yeah really good badges clamps on gold that's not bad no range extender which is tough but this sean bradley card gonna be glitchy as 
ever. Now, as I always try and make clear, boys, I am more of a uh, free card type of guy. So trust me, we will look at the new free cards that I haven't had a chance to talk about yet, but I kind of do it every video. I'm going to waste about 100k MT here. Now, obviously I'm getting a bit low. Like I at one point was at 900k, but I have some MT invested in my lineup, which by the way, speaking of which I'm only one and oh and unlimited. What day is it here today? I'm recording this Friday, June 12th. I've still got half the month. I'll eventually go 12 and oh, sell back some cards. It'll be nice. But for now, I mean, I say this every time. If I get blessed with an opal, like that's it. That That's it. I'm set. All these opals are expensive. Ooh, I didn't even look at the price of uh, of this man, Magic Johnson. He's probably going to be selling now. Uh, Goat Magic Johnson, three mil. <laughs> like I, I have to. It, it would be silly of me not to try and invest and get a magic. Like I'm just saying, I'm probably going to waste it, but it's worth it to try. I did the math. I'm going to open five non-guaranteed packs and three guaranteed packs. This might be a waste. Maybe I should go all guaranteed, but uh, this will be about 100k. Let's dive in. And let's wish Jay Canada some luck. I just need one blessing here. One blessing is it. No, okay, well, it's not there. A lot of people will be tweeting about how singles are the move. And a lot of people will also say like, ooh, the non-guaranteed singles are the move. Like that happens every time they release content. Maybe I shouldn't be believing those people. Okay, let's get our first guaranteed out of the way. Just don't be a diamond. Like at least give me like a pink diamond LeBron who for some reason is selling for 20K. That would be so nice. Right? Dang it. Nope. And of all people, it's Muggsy Bogues. It's not even like Sean Bradley, who I'd like to have in my collection, to be honest. All right. Okay. Well, that's all good. It's all good. We still, we're still early here. We're still early. Like all I need is one Opal Flash and for it to be Magic Johnson. And I'm set for the rest of this year. So let's make it. <gasps> no. Oh man. I was flipping all. This was a non-guaranteed. That that almost got me excited. That almost got me happy there, boys. This is going to be a hot, uh, hot, hot Rod Williams. I can say his name. Um, yeah. Okay. What are the chances I get anything better than a diamond? I got a diamond from a non-guaranteed pack. They're definitely not going to bless me. Uh, let me just do my eyes closed here. Yeah. Well, is it anything good? I'm going to open my eyes too. Okay. All right. Well, pink diamond. Hopefully this is LeBron and it is not. It is my boy, Nate Rob, who to be clear, Nate Robinson, always a really fun card to use, but not what I'm looking for. Sorry, bro. How many packs do I, was that a guarantee? That was a guarantee pack. I think I have like two more of non-guaranteed and one more guaranteed to open yeah okay ruby i mean it's, it's so dumb like i want to open the non-guaranteed so i can open more packs give myself a better shot but they just seem like such a waste like it's not even worth it come on guaranteed if this guaranteed is a pink diamond then i'll spend a little bit more and open another gear never mind never mind not even worth talking about. Okay. And they don't even give me like, I, not that I care, but they don't even give me a different diamond. It's Muggsy Bogues again. Okay. All right. Well, we have 11K. Let me just stick to my word. I said I was going to go down to 550. So one more non-guaranteed pack. This is so depressing. Man. How can I never get blessed? Oh, I thought that was two diamond contracts for a second. That would have been funny. Ah, man. Like, I know. I know packs just basically aren't worth it, but like, whatever. Okay. I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm not going to lie. You think eventually I'll get get something good from these packs every week i say the same thing when will jay canada quit i know i know i know i'm addicted is this a problem it, it's really a problem i make the same complaints and excuses every week i realize this people somebody please help me okay i hope some of you guys got uh, better luck than i did because that is not good and i'm down to 550 mt 550k that's so tough like just i pulled nothing Ooh. i actually did spend some time before this video started before i started recording trying to snipe as well because i think pretty good stuff okay all right now we're seeing realistic prices now okay thank you this is good this is good that i looked this up if you're still watching this video from where i showed you guys the original prices which was just before uh the first batch of cards sold for look at them now so c web and jimmy butler around 200k shack under 400k oh wow this is jimmy is Jimmy? Are you serious? Wow. This Jimmy is definitely worth more than 100K. I'm just saying. Richard Lewis is almost at a mil. Wow. Yeah. People recognize the six foot 10 shooting guard. Okay. Thank goodness Shaquille O'Neal came down in price. Like that was getting a bit ridiculous. Okay. Now we see it though. Yeah. In fact, I bet if I, I bet if I hopped on this 500 filter for a while, some of these cards like C-Web and Jimmy would start popping up and it probably wouldn't even be a snipe. That's interesting, man. Wow. This magic, however, still selling for 3 million MT. And I was curious, I was hoping the Campus Legends magic, this one would drop in price. Uh, hasn't really happened. He's still around 300K. That might be a cop though. Low key, like that older magic is still super dirty. So 
we'll have to see about it. But what I really wanted to look at and talk about today, who cares about the packs, all right? We're in the past on that already. I pulled nothing. It's all good. All this free new content, man. Opal Dennis Johnson, Opal Kevin McHale, Opal D Rodman, Opal Pierce, and Opal Magic Johnson, all combining for the new Galaxy Opal final spotlight sim, Larry Bird. I'm curious to see which of these cards are the best, which ones might make my lineup. As you can see, I've done like none of them. Eventually, I'll do all of them and get myself a Larry, but why don't we dive into some stats and badges and stuff and maybe check out some gameplay, shall we? Yeah, doing a little something different in No Money Spend. Give me one sec. All right, man, let's check it out here because honestly, all these Opal cards look good to me. Paul Pierce, I loved his diamond card earlier, his jump shot, even though he always has a foot on the line, like it's super green. So what do we learn from this? Stats, really good. A little bit low rebounding. Oh, he can play the shooting guard though. That's interesting because the other Paul Pierce is small forward, power forward. So I like that. I'd probably run him at the two to be honest. Shooting badges all look very much on point. Yes, dimer downhill handles for days. Yeah, this card's missing. Not it's so hard to tell the difference between cards nowadays, but for sure, Paul Pierce, I don't know. Is he the best one? I think his jumper holds it back a bit for me. Like it's super green, but like I said, the diamond one basically couldn't shoot corner threes, which was super tough. Dennis Johnson, I was super excited for. I thought he was 6'5 or 6'6. Six, six. Uh, 6'4 six, is a little bit small for a point guard. 86 shot three point. He has Craig Elo's jump shot or Gordon Hayward's base. Okay. Um, I don't know if I love that. If he had base 98, if Dennis Johnson was like, oh, base 98, we might be talking. Gold range is a little bit tough as well. Yeah, this card, I mean, he's going to be a defensive stud, but for me, I don't think he's usurping uh, James Harden or at this point, Wes Unseld as point guard for me. I just, yeah, no hot zones from three either, which is weird. Dennis Rodman, like this card can't be it. I've used the shooting guard version. Uh, this one can shoot threes as well, but his jump shot is slow. He doesn't move like he should. 99 go to Vegas. That's funny. I like it. 46 Hall of Fame badges is nutty. Like that's crazy. Um, Did they give him, right? They gave him gold range extender too. Of course, I just don't like the way this Dennis Rodman card plays, at least his pink diamond. So I doubt his opal feels that different. Now, Marcus Gasol, I do like the way this dude plays. His uh, diamond card that evoed. Look at that 95 shot three pointer. Only an 84 ball handle. I think that gets a boost with a good coach. So yeah, he's pretty much juiced everywhere. 46 Hall of Fame badges. He's got Hall of Fame range. Yes, sir. Downhill. Quick first. Hall of Fame clamps. Intimidator. Rebound chaser. Am I missing it? Yeah, there it is. Okay. So this Marcus Gasol card on paper is perfect. The thing about Mark, his jump shot, I remember using it in spin to win. I was always greening with this dude, which is like perfect, but I never really felt like I knew his jumper. I always felt like it was accidental when I green with him. So that could be a bit problematic, but I would have to see how this card feels. And Kevin McHale, people have been talking him up. Some people told me he is like a juice Dino Raja, which you know, I love bro. The only thing low on this card is playmaking, but that's just passing vision. Uh, I mean, this card's so similar to a Marcus soul, to be honest. If you had to choose between one, I'm not sure which one it would all be based on what kind of jump shot Kevin McHale has. But since we're going to get both these cards anyways, I'll try him out. I don't really see a difference between the two cards, to be honest, both of Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser Intimidator. So yeah, if this Kevin, uh, Kevin McHale's got a burner on him, you can green with ease. He might be the best one of this bunch. I definitely think McHale, Gasol, and Pierce, if you're only going to get three of them, would be the ones to get. But at the same time, like you might as well get all of them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not that much of a grind. None of these pink diamonds, to be honest, really stick out to me. Not, none of them are that exciting. So like I'll take them, but I'm probably not going to use them in my lineup. But what I did want to do here, which is a little bit different, as you can see, I'm on my boy HTB channel. Uh, I wanted to see some Opal Larry Bird gameplay. And I know some of you, if you haven't already watched HTB's video, uh, go watch the whole thing. But I want to see how good this card is because I've seen a lot of people talking him up. So why don't we react? Yeah, like I ever do that. Why don't we just check out some of HTB's gameplay? Again, go show him some love. I'm sure most of you have already 70K views on that video. Shout out. But let's see what my boy could do with Larry Bird so we can get an idea of what I might be able to do down the road. Because I've been playing computers for like the last, you know, 24 hours, but uh, first three all right, there. All right, it's, it's going the same down. Larry Bird jumper we've all seen. I'm gonna Fair turn enough. My Put it as a matchup. Let's see how, oh, Larry feels fast. Look at that blow by like to the that rim. Move. 98. What in the world? Can Larry legend. really dunk like that? Computers for 24 hours all the way. Hey! Oh, he's got a this good Larry dunk pack. Wow. LeBron James, and this guy's already <laughs> quick, out quick. Here. Good job, Henry. It's honestly crazy to think just how athletic this bird really is. You try to on ball him, it's gone. Even this. Look, you don't even have to on ball him. He's going to the rim. Wow, this Larry really dunks people. like that. I wasn't when expecting has Larry that Bird for ever sure. Done that. This is wild. Nice rebound there. Look at that. Larry Bird is doing it all. Cross behind the back. Oh, we already gone. 
Pop well, that was a nice move. Ooh, nice that was a nice move. Respect, down. Henry. Wow. I see you, bro. We've always known Larry Bird to be able to shoot, but the fact that he can dunk now is my favorite thing. Oh, snatch back. Let me go get some space there. Pico, boo, not a green. But All right, my, my boy H to be not greening with him. I wonder a little what this suspect guy must be there, thinking, but uh, the jumper Bird. is looking like, you good. You know he shouldn't even be available technically. Nice little three-point play yeah. there. Green yeah, that jumper green. looks smooth, looks quick. It's just a quick flick already. of the wrist for we don't sure. Have to talk much about that. This guy is getting blessed up and he's hitting all his whites, but it's all good. Cause look, Larry Legend. Oh, handles for days. Snatch. Where are you going? Oh. Green. <laughs> Larry, Yo, he, bro, this, this man was just spamming the snatch backs. Okay, already. Henry. That, that was a good look, boys. Too. There we go. Get nasty with it. Behind the back. We running. Stop. Pop. Wow. Green bean once yeah. again. This is going to yeah, be a Yeah, this massacre, card looks man. different, honestly. He moves. In the post, you, you can tell the way he Let's moves. Like, it's just beautiful. Not a green, but it's yeah. a bucket. It's beautiful. Larry it. Bird, what can I, I say? All right, six seconds to close out the quarter. I'm going to go to my boy Dennis first, then get Larry cutting through to the rim. Wow, man. Yo, okay, I got to say, shout out to HTB. That was a quick gameplay, but but I saw all I need to see. We know Larry can shoot. His jumper looks just as buttery, if not easier to green on this Opal card. But the ability to attack the way he, yeah, he was finishing in this quick gameplay we saw, like, I I like that. I don't need to grind 24 hours for just a spot up shooter. Like I was going to anyways, but knowing that he can carry the offense like that. Yeah, I'm all in. What about you guys? So again, I'm already behind on these. Like, I, we, we know, like it took me forever to do the Kobe challenges, but you know, I eventually finished them. And this grind is definitely not as bad. Be sure to follow me on Twitch with the link down in the description because I'll be doing some of this stuff live probably starting next week, but I'm excited, man. I'm hyped after seeing that gameplay with Larry. I uh, I really want that card. Unfortunately, he doesn't play point guard, which wouldn't make sense, but I'm always looking for new point guards. Dude, I don't even know who that man would replace. Like I'd probably sell back. Yeah, I'd sell back AK-47, probably run Larry at the four. It doesn't matter. Like I'm excited for that moment. I know I always come in these videos and I end up wasting MT and whatever, whatever, but at the root of it, my team is based on free cards and I love them, man. Like Mark Gasol, Kevin McHale, Paul Pierce, Larry Bird, four new Opals cards that you just have to grind for. I'm pretty sure all four of those will end up making my best lineup. So like, what can I say, dude? And I still have Jerry Lucas and Rudy Gay to get. I don't need to spend a million for Richard Lewis, even though that card looks nuts. I don't need to spend like two, three million to lock in Kareem, even though that card looks nuts. We can still ball out with what we've got, man, and what we've got coming for free. Are you kidding me? Now, speaking of free, last thing I want to do this video i almost forgot the locker code action in case you guys missed it it is called let me let me type it out first i'm not gonna talk and type then i'll mess something up you ready now showtime players packs do i got that right yeah there it is right there it's like a chance at a free pack well you'll see the board here they give you an option at pink diamond jimmy or richard which like let's be clear nobody wants i want either the campus legend or the leap year pack because both of them i could get like magic carmelo or t max so let me let me drop ski right oh that's a beautiful drop just a picture perfect drop thank you just give me the green or the yellow and we're good that's all we need right now yeah beautiful leap your pack i think i might pull opal t mac right here i'm just saying i, I don't have high expectations but I have this weird itch that it might happen so much so that i'm gonna stand to open this pack opal t mac <sighs> are you ready to come here big fella are you ready are you ready are you ready let's go oh let's get rid of these silvers boy let's get denied See, I just try and I try and be entertaining. I, tr I try and make videos that are fun. I, I try and just act like I don't constantly get screwed by 2K. It's my own fault. I waste a bunch of MT, I get nothing. I, I take advantage of the free packs 2K offers. I get nothing. I don't know why I'm surprised at this point. Let me just play my Larry Bird challenges, get the free cards, go 12 and 0 because I'm that nice out here on these streets and just stop complaining. That's, that's, that's pretty much what my life is right now. I hope you still enjoyed this video. Drop a thumbs up if you did. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're new. Also, follow me on Twitch for some uh, Larry Legend and 12 and 0 streams. That's all I got for this one, man. I'm a little bummed out. I'm not gonna lie, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.